Welcome, Welcome to, to church. church. We are so glad you were here with us this yes. morning. My name is Storado McKenzie, and I am a junior here at Valor Christian College. My name is Audrey McKenzie, yes. and I am also <laughs> a junior here at Valor Christian uh -huh. College. We are so excited to be your campus host today. So excited. So guys, make sure you like, mm -hmm. comment, subscribe, hit yes. the notification bell icon if uh -huh. you haven't already. And the easiest way to That's evangelize right. these days mm -hmm. is by sharing share, this share, church share. service. We Absolutely. know what goes on here. Uh -huh. We love what goes on here. But some people might not know. So uh -huh. make sure you share, share so they can be impacted by what is going on mm -hmm. in the Harv today. Today, today. Yes. And with that said, we have something amazing coming up around here that we, yes, do, we do at least once or twice a year. It's called VIP Weekend. Yes. It is hosted by Valor Christian College, the School of Revival. So fun. It's a time for prospective students and their family to come, come on the campus of World Harvest Church and yeah. Valor Christian College and just see what we do here. So that is October 27th through the 29th. Right. And you can register at the event dot vip that's the event dot vip so yes. today we want you to go there registration is free the entire event is free completely free we love a good free free <laughs> 99 <laughs> so be sure to check that yes. out all the information is right there on your screen yes we're so excited for vip weekend so it excited. only comes once a semester so yeah. make sure you get there yeah. while it's going on uh -huh. it's a great experience for mm -hmm. everyone for everyone and something that's great about VIP Weekend uh -huh. is if you come, if uh -huh. you come, you are eligible to win a scholarship. World Changer Scholarship. I won. Yeah, it is yeah. the World Changer Scholarship. <laughs> I won the World Changer Scholarship when yeah. I came to Valor Christian College. Uh -huh. And a lot of our students here have so been many. given so financial aid with scholarships. Yep. So it's a great opportunity great and it's opportunity. a great way to be able to help your finances Absolutely. as you come through Absolutely. the school. Absolutely. So yes. be sure to check it out at the event dot VIP. That's the event dot VIP. I and know. remember, oh, go ahead. I was going to say all my VIP experiences uh -huh. have been fantastic. The service has always been oh, yes. so, powerful. so powerful. The speaker's great. Always. All the events that always. we do, this street ministry, it's all great. And it's all mm -hmm. really giving you a true taste of what Valor Christian College is. Absolutely. Absolutely. So yes. many of our current students were members of past uh, VIP weekends and they're here today. Well, we're getting ready to go in service. It's going to be a wonderful day. Click, like, share. We're going in the tab. Service begins in, in 90, 90 seconds. seconds. to bless the Lord together. Everyone joining online, every campus, YouTube, come on, we're here to testify that there is no one greater than our God. You won't find one. Don't waste any time looking. He's awesome. He's great. He's kind. He's forgiving. He's a wonderful God. Come on, let's worship him together. The words are going to be on the screen. Sing it loud with us. Choir, you ready? Here we go. 
greater love than this than he who laid his life down for all men. No greater love than this than he who laid and died. Greater powers and Real simple, 
just sing that out. There's no one greater. Oh, bless the Lord, bless 
the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Yeah! Jesus, 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 we bless you. Gee, come on, you're free in the Holy Ghost. You're free in the Holy Ghost. You're free. Somebody who's hungry for a God encounter. Don't look at folk funny when they praise God. I've seen how you act when the worldly music hits. These are sanctified folk who've been born again and beloved God and forgiven. Oh, you're worthy of it all, God. You're worthy of it all. If I look foolish while I praise you, you're worthy of it all. You don't understand my praise because you don't know my revelation of Jesus and how good God has been. I came to have an encounter with the 
Holy Ghost. Come on, lift up that sound. Lift up that sound. We're going to transition, but lift up that sound. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need you, God. Hallelujah. I want you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, nothing greater than meeting with you, God. Lord, I thank you for access this morning. I thank you, God. You're not looking at my sin, but it's under the blood. And we've got access to heavenly places this Sunday morning. Father, we speak your name. Come on, lift it up, 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 lift it up. We speak the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yep, stay right there, band. Jesus, 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 we worship you. Jesus, be exalted. Jesus, 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 Lord of the breakthrough. Jesus, our kinsman redeemer. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, oh, Jesus, lift it up, sustain that sound, beloved, I know I'm, I'm pulling on you, sustain that sound, sustain that sound, hallelujah to Jesus, hallelujah to Jesus, oh, Jesus, 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 the way, the truth, and life, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, we love your name, we love your name, oh, oh. Mighty name of Jesus. I just want to speak. Over every heart and every mind Cause I know there is peace within your presence I speak Jesus And I just want to speak the name of Jesus Till every dark addiction starts to break Declaring there is hope and there is freedom, I speak Jesus. Your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Yes, break every stronghold, shine through the shadow.
worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We call on the greatest name that ever was and never shall be. Jesus. Let the worship arise to the King of Kings. Thank you because of the finished work on the cross. Death is not the end. Sickness is not our story. Fear is not my future. Come on. Come on, hands up if you're able. Let's just stay engaged with the sweet presence of the Lord. Beautiful church. Come on, Elkhart, lift those hands. Woo. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We worship. Let him turn it in your favor. Watch him work it for your good. Listen, he's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good. You hear that? I'll say it again. Let him work it in your favor. Come on, come on. Watch him turn it for your good. Because oh. he's not done with what he started. You believe that? He's not done until it's good. So hello peace, hello joy, hello love, hello strength, hello hope, it's a new horizon. Hello peace, hello joy, hello love, yes. Hello strength, hello hope, it's a new horizon. If you're ready for a breakthrough, open up and just receive. Cause what is pouring out is love. Come on, give it. You've ever seen. You've ever that by faith you can sense God is doing horizon. something new it's a new horizon it's a new horizon it's a new horizon see the goodness of the Lord yeah. it's a new horizon. It's a new horizon. Yeah. Listen. fear is not my future you are It's not my story. Hey, hey. You are.
joy of the Lord. Wake up to the provision of the Lord. Yeah. Wake up. join the choir if you love to worship and you live and write us unto the Lord you can join us up here wouldn't that be wonderful 
I told the choir this morning in our, in our huddle, you know, God speaks to you however he speaks to you, right? And last night, we got a bunch of dogs, you know, we raise and show and breed dogs and that kind of thing. And one of our dogs had something in their mouth and they were running all over the house and all the rest of the dogs were chasing after them. And I felt the Lord speak to me again. He talks to you how he talks to you and he talks to me how he talks to me, but I felt the Lord speak to me and say, you know, they're chasing her because of what's in her mouth. And I sincerely felt I heard the Lord say, son, that's why the devil is after people. He's after what's in their mouth because there's power of life and death in their tongue. I believe our scripture for the decade is even open your mouth with the mighty decree. I will fulfill it now. You'll see the words that you speak. Uh oh, oh, the words that you speak. The word, that's why the enemy is after what's coming out of your mouth because your mouth is creating the future and the now that you're living in. So somebody wake up to the goodness of the Lord. No matter what you see in the natural, wake up to the goodness of the Lord and begin to speak the promises of God. I speak joy, I speak peace, I speak strength, I speak provision, I speak the goodness of the Lord. Now let's exercise our faith right there. Open your mouth right now with a mighty decree and speak. I'm expecting to see the goodness of the Lord. I'm expecting to see the provision of the Lord. I'm expecting to see the healing of the Lord. I'm expecting to see the miracle working, wonder working power of Almighty God at work in my life. Devil, you can't have my praise. Devil, you can't have my praise. What's in my choose to bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will to bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Sing, O barren ones. What's in your mouth has power on it. There was nothing in God's smoke and then there was. And you are created in his image and likeness. Speak, child of God. Speak, child of God. One more time. Hello. So hello, hello peace, peace. Hello. hello. not the end. This is not Death the is end. not the end. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Well, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Welcome to World Harvest Church. Come yes. on, let's give it up. It's Woo. great that we are in the house of the Lord this morning. And yes. we are so glad that you joined us. Well, my name is Sterano McKenzie, and I am a junior here at Valor Christian College. My name is Audrey McKenzie. I am also a junior here at Valor Christian College. Yes. Welcome to the Har. Welcome. We are so glad to have you all here. And in case you didn't know, yes. we had baptisms today. <laughs> woo woo. Yes, congratulations to everyone who was baptized yes, today. Yes, yes. We baptized almost 30 people today. So congrats to them again. Congratulations, congratulations. Absolutely May New. Well, joining us here in the tab, we want to connect with you. We want you to connect with us. Yes. There's a connect Absolutely. card in the seat back pocket in front of you. We want you to just grab that card, grab that. fill it out completely, <laughs> and absolutely let us know how you heard about us. We want to know how you heard about the harp, and we want to get connect with you and get some information to you. And if you are joining us here for the first time, or the first time in a long time, yes. there's a special gift for you at each exit on your way out today there are big signs that says new here and balloons we want you to stop there and grab your gift from our pastor and first family yes we've got some big things coming up yes. soon here at the harv and valor christian college yes, yes, yes. we've got vip, VIP. weekend 
Yes, that is going to be October 27th through the 29th, and it is a great experience overall. Yes. CHN pastors, yes. bring your young people. Yes. Youth pastors, bring your students. If you're a prospective student, come. Make yeah. sure you come. You can get a real taste of what Valor Christian College is like. Absolutely. It is a great experience. Yes. My experience at VIP Weekend has always been top tier. <laughs> it's always been great, very powerful, and I recommend it highly. Absolutely. So you can register. She recommends it highly. highly. You can register at theevent.vip. That's the, the event. VIP. Well, do we have any Dream Teamers in the house? Dream Teamers is what we call our amazing group of volunteers that make everything that we do happen. Next week, Sunday, October the 15th, mark it in your calendars, October the 15th, there is yes. a Dream Team Rally right here in the tab at 8.45 a.m. Yes, get there. And if there. you would like to become a Dream Team member, we welcome you. There's so many places to serve. There's the choir, there's Usher, there's the parking lot ministry. Join us and we have more information for you on that. Yes, Miss Joni says, ahead. servants get double. Yes. So make sure you want some double, come serve. Come, come serve. serve with us, come serve with us. Well, online family, we have some important information for you, so don't go anywhere. Pastor Chris? Yeah, don't we love Toronto and Audrey? We love y'all. Again, online, they're coming right to you, so stay right there. Listen, Sunday night, Pastor Parsley's class right here. If you were here, then you know it was so good, though, and so much content. He didn't get to share it all Sunday night, so guess what? Say what? On Wednesday nights, beginning this Wednesday at 7 p.m., he is teaching right here, Jesus Explosion, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Come on. So the children will be in the tab with us not just to sit here and play video games, right? But to worship and to receive from the word. So children, we do have childcare though for zero through fifth grade is available in our Kid Harvest Clubhouse. So that's Wednesday night, Jesus Explosion. Could you use a Jesus Explosion? Come on, right? We all could. That's Wednesday nights. Well, all of these announcements and more may be found as always at whc.life. Well, we say it like this, we believe we are the friendliest church in town, and we want to take just a moment to prove it to you. So if you will stand, please, and get out in the aisle, walk across, meet someone new, and then find a familiar face. You got two minutes to do it now, church. Here we go. Two minutes on the clock. Happy Sunday morning. Good to see you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise him. Well, we are having a wonderful time here at yes. service. The Lord is moving. He's touching people. And we want to come in agreement with you today. We want Absolutely. to pray with you. There are so many prayer needs out there. So we want to come in agreement with you. Hit like, hit the share button. Let everybody know that we are live. Yes. Let's go. So here are some more prayer requests we have right here. We have uh -huh. um, Doris from yes. Queens, New York, yes. praying for her husband to be healed yeah. and no longer need a walker. Amen. We just saw that in a service not uh -huh. so long not ago. Not too long ago. And she was completely healed. Amen. Ruth, watching on YouTube, is uh -huh. praying for God to heal her brother of stage four cancer Amen. and to heal the lesions on mm -hmm. both kidneys. Amen. Let's pray for that. Lord, Let's pray. we speak to these prayer requests yes, right Lord. now in, Jesus, in name. Jesus' name. We know by the stripes that you took on your back you, Lord. that we are healed and we healing healed. is the children's healing bread. So we thank you bread. for the manifestation Absolutely. of that healing. In Jesus' name. Thank in you, Jesus' name. Listen, let us know. Yes. Comment in the comment section. Let us know your prayer needs. We want to pray and come in agreement with you because yes. what has Pastor been saying? This is yes. a year of total agreement. agreement is so we want to come in agreement with yes. you. Say it uh, right there in the comment section. We have we have Miss Stella who's watching on YouTube yes. praying for God to heal her marriage and yes. to help her forgive her husband. And well, Father, we just thank you that yes. you would intervene in that situation right you, now Lord. in the name of Jesus and so many similar needs yes. all around the world to our our online audience so many needs but we know that our God is able yes. to heal more than able. to deliver liver, yes. to set free to make whole so we thank God that he yes. is moving in your life right now you may be on the other side of that screen but the power of God is not short that it cannot reach you well we're having yeah. a wonderful time and we're getting ready to go back in the tab and we will see you just in a moment God bless you all right
back to your seats, everybody, please. Everybody back to your seats. Remain standing, please. There we go. See, I told you, friendliest church in town right here. So good to see everybody this fine Sunday morning. Well, listen, he's been out on the road, as he's done so many times, ministering this week, but we're happy to have him here this Sunday morning. Pastor and Dr. Rod Parsley, here we go. Good morning. Oh, that was pretty good. Good morning. Slap somebody a high five and tell them you look great in the glory. Come on, tell them you look great in the glory. Amen. You may be seated. We did have a great time, Pastor Larry Ragland's church in uh, Alabama. And I've got a little leftover. I've got a little... Uh, black eye going on up here because uh, I got off the airplane on the tarmac there and parked next to us was a South Carolina University of South Carolina airplane. Now we're in Alabama and then next to that there was an Auburn airplane from Auburn University. We're in Alabama Next to that was the orange and white of the University of Tennessee airplane. Oh, we got a few Tennessee fans. Okay. We're in Alabama. Right? And I get off the airplane, and of course, I'm in OH gear from head to toe. I got the hat, I got the shoes. I got the shirt, I got the jacket, I got the pants. So we got Auburn, Tennessee, South Carolina, and Ohio State. And we're in Alabama. And so I got off and I was walking in and some guy stood back from the door and looked from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet and he looked at those airplanes out there and he punched me right in the eye. Part of that's true. I'll let you discerning ones figure out which part is true. But you did notice Miss Joni's not on the front row this morning, so. I walked, I walked into a meeting the other day and Ashton said, did, did mom, you get on the wrong side of mom? And I said, well, I don't think so. And she said, well, you were changing a light bulb. Did it fall and hit you in the face? I said, no. And I said, leave me alone. I'm in a meeting here. And I didn't think anything more about it. That was Tuesday. On Thursday, I'm getting ready to head to Alabama. And Austin's sitting next to me at breakfast. And he said, Dad, have you got some kind of ink on your eye or something? I said, no. And he, Ashton said, he's got a black eye. And I said, I do not. And she said, Dad, honestly, you've had a black eye since Tuesday. Do you ever look in a mirror? I said, not unless I'm going to preach. I mean, you see me in the day, this hair is going every direction. Beard looks like it's got, you know, mice living in it or something, you know? And I, I didn't even notice it. Isn't it good? You can get a black eye and live so strong in God, you don't even notice it. I said, that devil is a liar. I said, that devil is a liar. Hey, Amen. are you happy today? I mean, like, hap, hap, happy. Yeah. Are you like, what? Is, uh, come on, Audrey, help me up. Top tier. I always want to say top shelf. Are they cute? The, the, I mean, Audrey and Storano, they're like poster children for the kingdom of God. We love them so much. Wednesday night, I'm going to be right here, and we're going to have a Jesus explosion 
Let's see, did we win anybody to Jesus this week? 224 souls we won this week. Not this year. This year we won 9,824 souls. Because ah! it's all about the, and the apex of all must become to in the crown of that the Lamb of God may receive the reward we'll give him praise and glory because we brought him 224 crowns year to date 9,824 souls Woo. hey World Harvest Church Elkhart Everybody shout, we love y'all. You can be seated. In October, they have served 2,012 pounds of food. 2,012 pounds. That's almost as much as I ate this month. Year to date, they have distributed Oh, we're going to break 50,000 pounds this week. 49,419 pounds of fresh food to suffering people. We love them. They had their fall fest, their festival, uh, this past Sunday. They had over 800 people come to fall fest. Let's say thank God for that. And they... They had September to remember, you know, and they, they had some guests from here on the team in Columbus, and they said, could we do that again? I said, yeah, you had a September to remember, let's have an October outpouring. So that's what they're doing this month. Y'all are having a time over there on Wednesday night. Last Wednesday night, I don't know, I had to turn my phone off. I got so tired of answering people from Elkhart. When can we have Pastor JC back? We run Pastor JC. He did such a great job. So proud of you. Week before that, Professor Sams was over there. Elder Canfield was over there. And this coming week, Professor Brian Oswald, who many of you don't know, Audrey's jumping up and down because that's her daddy. And she and, and Sterano got married in their junior year at Valor. And so mom and dad and brother said, well, we might as well come to Columbus too. He has a double master's degree and he teaches at Harvest Preparatory School as well as Valor Christian College. And we love you so much. And they are excited to have you in Elkhart this coming Wednesday night. But don't y'all drive over there. Drive in here. You all in Elkhart, bring somebody with you. Amen? Well, the events unfolding in our nation and around the world, uh, everybody needs to vote. Now, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I don't support candidates. That, that's not my position. Preachers need to learn something. You don't support people, you support policies. I support policies that support religious freedom, that support life, that support not being in unending war.
Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur, the holiest, most sacred day on God's celestial calendar. Are you with me? 1973, the Yom Kippur War against the nation of Israel, the apple of God's eye, the only standing democracy in the entire Middle East. Hezbollah, their enemies to the north. Hamas, their enemies to the south. Just shot thousands of bombs into Israel. Hamas and Hezbollah, Syria, all enemies of America, all enemies of Israel are supported over 90% these terrorist organizations. They have no state. They have no nation. They are terrorists. We remember terror, don't we? Some of us. Many of you can't remember the Yom Kippur War. I can. I was alive in 1973. I remember what that was like. I remember when Iran captured Americans and held them in isolation for week after week after week after month. I remember. I remember 9-11. I remember coming in this tabernacle. I remember trying to comfort children who didn't know what in the world was going on. America attacked on her own shores for the first time. Terrorists. Why in the world we flew airplanes full of boxes of cash to Iran is beyond me. Why we just freed up and let them have six billion dollars two weeks ago and the response is Israel gets thousands of rockets shot. In, I mean it looked like, not, there. well there it is. There's Israel. That's a hotel I probably stayed in. Israel is surrounded by her enemies. The only standing democracy. And I'm a little tired of the weak and feckless foreign policy that this nation finds itself in today. It's time to support our allies tired from a career in the United States Air Force. Everybody thank Bill, he's watching for his service to this nation and every man and woman that served this great nation in any of our armed forces or as first responders or as officers of the peace. Thank God for them. Bill still maintains the highest level of national security clearance available in America. It's great to have people like that in your church, amen? We still claim them as part of our church. They live in Virginia now. They have been partners of Breakthrough and World Harvest Church for 25 years. They just, in fact, sent their Day of Atonement seed. Listen to this. On Sunday, September 24th, Bill was, you remember the Hodges, don't you, Elder Canfield? Bill is the prayer director of their church in Virginia. And he, Valley Park Church, and they had a prayer meeting, and Bill was leading it, and they were honoring God on the Day of Atonement in prayer and they were worshiping him when all of a sudden a shooter armed 
with two weapons, two guns, came into the church. You know, they were having a prayer meeting. And all of a sudden, this guy shows up. Well, he had published a manifesto, whatever that is, shorthand for coward, a manifesto that he was going to enter a church, enter a church, that church, put it, put it out online, and kill, quote, as many Christians as possible. 99% of you have not heard a word about what I said. Because Christians don't count in America. Oh, you're quiet. Christians don't count. They're the only religious group in America that it's okay to mock and to scorn and to make fun of. Only Christians. Vote. So this guy comes in. Well, one of their members had seen the post on social media, informed the authorities. The authorities got with the church security. They found the guy. They captured the guy. They arrested the guy, still holding his guns, and not anybody was injured. And we say, thank God for praying. So they said, Bill, Bill is giving all the praise to God and thanking God for his obedience to serve that great church in Virginia as their prayer team leader. Thank you, Bill. And receiving daily communion. He said, Pastor, when you taught on that, I have received communion every single day of my life, and it has changed my life. And we always make communion elements available to you in the foyers. Take as many as you want. Use all that you take. He said, Pastor taught us to receive communion. And he said, Pastor taught us to sow an atonement seed, to celebrate the great day of atonement. You know, it is tabernacles that I have preached to you for years, including this year, that Jesus will return. During tabernacle season, beginning with Rosh Hashanah and going all the way through the end of tabernacle season, which has just happened, that is the time I shared with you. There are more wars started during this time than any other time of the year. Well, I woke up yesterday morning to terrorist bombs raining down on our precious state of Israel. Wow. You know, this is the fig tree generation. Every eye of every believer should always be on Israel. The sign of the coming of the Lord not signs, wars and rumors of wars, pestilence. Those are all signs of the time. But there's only one sign. The disciples said to Jesus, and what shall be the sign of your coming? So if you really want to know season of the return of Christ, all you have to do is watch Israel. When Israel became a nation... In May of 1948, when Israel became a nation, the fig tree generation began. And Jesus said, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. Now we're seeing the historic fulfillment, the precursors of the historic fulfillment Go back and listen to the messages that I preached when we withdrew our troops after spilling American blood for 20 years and retreated and left Afghanistan in the hands of terrorists. After 20 years of shedding our blood. In my opinion, 
The same thing that's going on, thing happens because of prayer, because of holy communion, and because of sowing and believing God for miracles. I'm believing God to do three things for you today. Are you ready? How would you like to have a supernatural touch? I mean, no, you don't understand. Supernatural touch from heaven, spirit, soul, and body. Shout if you believe you can receive it. Second, everybody do this. I'm believing this week, I feel the Holy Ghost, this week for a supernatural turnaround that you've been believing for. Shout this week. And this week for a supernatural moment of divine favor. Somebody's going to say yes that's been saying no. Somebody's going to get moved to the front of the line when you know you should be in the back of the line. I wish you'd shout and say, I agree. I lay hold. I believe. Psalm 118, verse 25 says, God send now prosperity. Now that's not a preacher that dreamed that up. That's the book. Psalm 118, verse 25. Send now prosperity. He didn't say just enough. He said prosperity. He didn't say almost enough. He said prosperity. If you believe in God for just enough to pay your rent, I'm going to help you elevate. I said, I'm going to help you elevate. More on that in a minute. Psalm 118, 25. Sin now prosperity. Notice, it is not, there is the reversal of the verb and the, and the, and the subject here. He did not say sin prosperity now. He said, sin now, prosperity. Now being an adjective describing the noun. The noun is prosperity. The noun is the thing. The prosperity of God issuing over the sapphire sill of heaven's gate. There it is. And God said, ask me to send a specific kind of prosperity what kind of prosperity now prosperity because Isaiah 43 19 says behold I God will do a new thing now it shall come forth but now does not mean at this time in this moment not even in this season. That's how we think of now. Because we think of send prosperity now. And that's all we understand about now. We think now is in a moment. Now is in a season. Now is a point of time. Now, in the context of which the Holy Ghost is speaking, is the adjective. It is saying, I want you to send the specific now prosperity. What is the now prosperity? I will do a new thing. What is the new thing? Bless you, spirit, soul, body. Give you a supernatural turnaround this week and give you a moment of divine favor in the next seven days. And it doesn't mean at this moment. It means at this time, at this moment, in this season, watch me, watch me, henceforth and hereafter. Meaning when he does it, it's done and it ain't going back. Come on. You're about to slay your Goliath. And when he falls, he ain't ever getting up again. You may have a different problem, but you won't have the one you gotten. 
I'm trying to help somebody. That's all. That's all he is. Be seated. It's time to sow. Hallelujah. Everybody get out your tithe. 10% of the sanctified gross income. Get out your offering. Anything above a tithe. And you ought to give God an offering today that you are still living in the greatest nation on the face of God's earth. There are no bombs raining down. Your children not laying dead in crumpled buildings this morning like Israel got up to yesterday. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. God bless those that bless her. And that's us. Father, bless everyone that believes the word just given, attach their faith to it, and prosper thereby, spirit, soul, and body. Give them a supernatural turnaround as a result of their obedience in this moment. Whew. And we look forward. Ah, God, mark it in their lives. That moment of divine favor. They're going to know it. Let us praise you when it manifests. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, give us unto the Lord and act happy while you do it. And I think Pastor Chris is going to come and bless us. Yes, sir. God bless you as you give unto the Lord today. have in Jesus all our sins and griefs to bear and what a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer come on you know it sing it with us oh what peace Oh, what peace we often fall. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry. Oh, because we do not carry. Everything to God in prayer. Everything to God. In prayer, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. The old song says, Every hour, every hour, I need so, so blessed, so bless me now, like only you can do. I come to thee. I go to. I, I, I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour. Every hour. I need thee. Come on, sing it out. Lift it up. So blessed. Redeemer, my Savior, I come to thee. I come, I come. So, oh, 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 so blessed, bless me now, my Savior, my sweet Savior. I come to, to thee. If you're glad you have the privilege to come before the throne of grace boldly and make your petition known, can you stand to your feet and say, thank God. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Are you ready? Be seated. If you have a Bible, turn it to Hebrews chapter number 6, verse 13. Hebrews chapter number 6, verse 13. You want a word? Because if not, like, I understand it's 1130. Right? So we can have prayer and dismiss, or I can give you a word. I, but if I'm going to give it, you're going to shout it. <laughs> I'm not doing this by myself. You with me? You hungry? Are you hungry? Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Are you ready? All right. First of all, let me make this declaration. Your season, your season of doubt, your season of mistrust, your season of skepticism, your season of sorrow, of heartache, and heartbreak changes today forever because what God does, God does forever. You with me? All right, there are seven covenant promises. Shout covenant. No, covenant. We don't understand covenant anymore because we don't make them. Right? You enter into a contract and you sign your name and you say, uh, I'd like, I don't know, whatever, $25,000 on a note at whatever percent interest so I can buy this car. Right? So a lending institution enters into that contract with you. So at the end of every month, they expect a payment. Now, we call that a contract. A contract is a covenant. A covenant must always have the exchange of principle. In other words, one party is giving something, and the other party is giving something, thereby they are entering into a covenant. You with me? So what happens when you don't make your payment? You ever watch those shows? They're kind of entertaining, really, where they come to, re it's like repo, repossession. Can you spell eviction? Anyway, so you, you say, I'm going to pay my rent, but you don't pay your rent. Can you spell eviction? You say, I'm going to pay this car note, but you don't pay your car note. Can you spell repossession? Because they're going to show up in your driveway in front of your apartment, and you're going to look out your window shades, and you're going to see a big old truck hooking up to what you told everybody was your car. And they always come running out, you know. They look, like, they look like me when I'm studying and not preaching. And they come running, their hairs everywhere, and they're half-dressed, and they're using every ex, ex, expletive they've ever heard anybody utter. They are cussing like a drunken sailor on leave. Here they come. You can't take my car. Yeah, they can because you did not uphold your end of the covenant. So there's a blessing to enter into a covenant. There can also be a curse entering into a covenant. I'm going to talk about that, and I want it to forever change your attitude toward God's covenants which are not like the covenants of men. There are seven covenant promises, and I want to take root. I, I want them to take root in your spirit today. I want to alert you to this very strategic, this mm, momentous moment on God's celestial calendar. Just finished the Feast of Tabernacles. I told you, and here come the bombs into Israel. 
because more wars are started this time of year than any other time. We are at the beginning of the Hebrew year 5784, which is the year of an open door. Everybody go, we're in it. 23 is the year when agreement is essential and the manifestation of sudden miracles is expected because the atmosphere of is the breeding ground of your I want to draw your attention to the absolute assurance regarding God fulfilling his promise to you. Hebrews 6.13 is extremely instructive. Here's what it says. When God made a promise to Abraham, because he could, he, God, could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself. God's promise is always confirmed by God's oath. God's promise must never ever be compared to the anemic and often false promises in your life from mere humans. If you've ever had anybody break their promise to you, Shout now and don't stop till I tell you. If you've had anybody break their promise to you. Well, here the Hebrew writer is quoting from what is commonly referred to as the Abrahamic covenant. This is the covenant that God made with the patriarch Abraham, from which came the nation of Israel. Genesis 22, 16 and 17. This is what the Hebrew writer is quoting. So we've got it in the book of Hebrews, but it's drawn all the way back from the earliest days of our Judeo-Christian ethic, all the way back with God talking to Abraham. And your Bible said... God said, by myself have I sworn that in blessing I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply you. God's blessing becomes our blessedness. Somebody shout, I'm blessed. I am blessed every day that I live. I am blessed when I wake up in the morning or I lay my head to rest. I am blessed, I am blessed, I am blessed, blessed, blessed. Here's how I know that. Here's how I know that. His blessing is his oath that for those of us ah, who have been blessed, I need to see somebody just put up a half mass backslidden Baptist wave right now. Just, just say, I am blessed. I am blessed. Now here's what he's talking about. If you entered into that covenant, the Abrahamic covenant was a blood covenant. So we get all the way to Calvary and God said back in the old covenant, because I have no greater oath to make, because I cannot swear by anything greater than myself, I swear by myself and I seal it in blood at the cross, I am going to bless you. Now you're, you're already blessed. Your sins are washed away. 
Your iniquities are purged. Your sins, though they be red as scarlet, they're white as snow. Though they were red like crimson, they are white as wool. Somebody say, I'm on my way to heaven. I must be already blessed. He's saying, in blessing, I will bless you. In other words, because you're saved, I am not only going to continue to bless you, but I am going to multiply that blessing until he brings us into the perfection of blessedness, which is a place where the gates are made of one pearl and the streets are made of gold. This is the glorious gospel of covenant. I'm not finished. Here is God's affirmation here is the guarantee of heaven you notice you never into a enter into a contract a covenant with what is without what is called earnest money something of value When you enter into a contract and you say, I want to buy thus and so, they will say, we will enter into this contract with you. What is your earnest money? That's money that if the thing falls through, you don't ever get back. Here's what we call it. You got skin in the game. On that rugged, cruel cross, God had skin in this game. Because there was nothing, though God searched through heaven above and earth below, there was nothing as valuable as his word of earnest. Because there was no one and nothing more valuable, of greater importance than God himself, he entered into a covenant and swore by himself. Now, you're not there yet, but I'll get you there. Here's what he said. Sitting upon his ethereal throne, surrounded by 400 billion cherubim, shouting, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty making the earth and his enemies his footstool. Creator of heaven and earth, Jehovah Barra, I created it, I own it. I made it, I can do with it what I want. I created it, I can fix it. He said, if I ever, if I ever fail to make good on my promise to you, I will abandon come off of and surrender my throne to Satan if I break my covenant promise to you.
Now go ahead and say he doesn't want to heal me. Go ahead and say he doesn't want to deliver me. Go and say he doesn't really want to bless me. Go ahead and say he just wants to give me enough to get by. Go ahead and say there are certain things I just have to put up with. Go ahead and say I'm sometimes the head, but most of the time I'm the tail. We are blessed and in blessing he will continue to bless us and in blessing us he will multiply our blessing. Yeah, you shaking your head, but you ain't shouting. If you really got it, you jerk these chairs up off this floor. His promises are yes. Thirty-six times. Jesus was asked, will you heal me? 36 times he said, yes, because he cannot say no. It is his oath. He swore by himself. He's not going to lose his throne by not blessing you. about done his promises are yes shout it your promise is yes will I touch you in the next seven days will I give you a supernatural turnaround in the next seven days Will I give you a manifestation of my divine favor in the next seven days? And amen. So be it. Amen. Will I heal the fevered brow of your infant child? Will I take autism spectrum disorders off your children? Will I take cancer off your vocal cord? Woo! All of God's promises are yes. And amen. So be it. You say, God, I am asking you according to your word, thus and so. Amen. And from heaven, God, with covenant blood around him, says, so be it. Will you stop the ringing in my ears? I believe you to do it. Amen. So be it. Shout, so be it. it. Will I give you back everything the devil stole? Amen. So be it. Will I bless you when you get there? Will I bless you when you leave? Will I bless you coming in? Will I bless you going out? Will I make you the head and not the tail? Will I make you above? Top tier. Hold your hands up and say, God, 
Go ahead and bless me. Make me top tier. Amen. Now shout God's so be it. Look at somebody and tell me he's not abandoning his throne for me. He didn't swear by you. Be seated. He didn't swear by the federal government. He didn't swear by some king's kingdom. He swore to bless you by himself. He is the earnest. He is the expectation. He is the down payment. He. Now get this. Hi. All, every single promise of God, everyone, all of them are founded upon God's own immutable counsel. Stay with me. Immutable, irreplaceable, immutable, undeniable. Let me continue. These promises were not rashly nor hastily without forethought and great discretion given. There was counsel. God eh, said to himself, come and let us reason together. God the Father said to God the Son, let's talk about this. And the Son said to the Holy Ghost, we can't do it without you. In the determinate counsel of God. These promises were put in place. For the specific purpose, hear me, you think it's about you. God said, I'm going to prove to the universes who I am. I am going by my own determinant counsel and covenant with myself. Come up with how through the redemptive work of the cross, I am going to bless those who are mine. See, we've lost all this. The greatest example on earth of this covenant is supposed to be marriage. Thank you. But we don't honor the covenant of marriage. Had another preacher this week. Well, we got four or five kids, but 
we've just determined that uh, we just uh, we just missed it when we got married. Well, don't miss it now. Two errors don't equal a correction. You mean to tell me that two born again, spirit filled handlers of the eternal truths of God can't go lock themselves in a room somewhere and get right? You don't you don't want to clap. You, you don't want to. Because your experience says, yeah, but. Never determine the determinate counsel of God's will based on your flimsy experience. Your experience does not make him abandon his throne. Your experience does not make him change his promise. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Stop making excuses, y'all. I'm trying. Today, Christian people think no more of heading to the divorce court than they do getting their tooth filled. And I challenge you, if you're in such a situation, now I am not saying that you've got to put up with somebody beating you. I'm not saying any of that, but I'll tell you this. I've seen marriages healed of a whole lot worse. Because with God is impossible. He saved you. What else does he need to do to prove nothing is impossible? I wish I had half a church. The promises of God, slap your Bible. The promises of God can never, they are immutable. They can never be altered. You can't hem them, and you can't let them out. You can't make them fit your culture. If I have one more millennial look at me and say, well, it's just a different time now. I know, because you're backslid. You, you seek to change the promise of God to suit your flesh. Man, I tell you, I'm winding. Woo! I'm winding up on this one. Yeah, somebody just praise him for about 30 minutes. Go ahead. I mean, act like you got 30 minutes to just lose your mind. Blessing him for blessing you. He who cannot fail. He is immutable. I only wish those hallelujahs were surrounded by some oh my. Be seated. I got four minutes. Think of what I'm saying to you. Every need, he is supplied. Plenteous grace he affords. Since I started for the kingdom, since my life he controls 
Every day, he gets sweeter. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. The longer I love him, more love he bestows. Every day is like heaven. My heart overflows. The longer I serve him, the sweeter he grows. Stop looking for what you can hold on to of this decrepit, dying, diseased, polluted, filthy world and still make it to heaven. Shame on us. I want to get so close to God, I have to be concerned about Him jerking me off this earth, not making it to heaven. His promises are founded upon and formed by his own immutable counsel. Now, let me ask you a question. If these promises were determined in the counsel of God with himself, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Who's going to be in disagreement? The Father said, I'll declare it. Jesus said, I'll pay for it. And the Holy Ghost said, I'll enforce it. I want to run. I want to run. I want to lose my natural white mind. I want to dance, and I know I can't. I want to shout, and my voice is worn out. I want to leap like a heart. I want to run through a troop and jump over a wall. I want to shout hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Father's decree whew, was ratified and sealed forever when He said, It is finished. That covenant contract between God and Himself to bless you was signed in blood at that tree every promise became an established fact and settled eternal law in these things my dear brother and sister it is impossible for God to lie If you're just going to sit, I'm going to keep preaching. This means everybody up. Everybody up. Thought you'd just bless him a while on your own. 
because every promise in that book is yes, amen, and so be it to you, your family, and your children's children. I just need somebody to say I'm blessed. If it's under your feet, then it's under mine too. Everything bows to Jesus. If it's under your feet, then it's under mine too. Everything bows to Jesus. If it's under your feet, I need somebody. I need everybody that is believing God that in the next seven days, He's going to bless you. He's going to give you a moment of divine favor. He's going to say yes and amen to get in this altar and praise him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Come on, get it. He promised it. Shall he not bring it to pass? He is not a man that he should lie. With him there is no variableness. There is no shadow of turning. With him there is no respect of persons. If he did it for anybody, he'll do it for you. Somebody shout yes. Everything bows to Jesus. If it's under your feet, then it's under my feet. Think about it. Everything bows. If it's under his feet. Make it bow. Make it bow. If it's got a knee, if it's got a knee, it's got a knee, it's got a knee, it's got a bow. If it's under his feet, then it's under mine too. Everything bows to Jesus. Everything bows to Jesus. Everything bows to Jesus. Everything bows. Jesus, I bless so everything bound, everything bound. When I ask a question, you shout yes and amen. Will he forgive you of every sin? Well, praise him for it then. The blood shouts yes. The blood shouts, it is finished. To tell us die. It is finished. You got homosexuality in your family or somebody you know. I dare you right now, make it bow. Spirit's got a bow. Every prideful spirit's got a bow. Everything bows to Jesus. Everything bows to Jesus. Now here's what it said. Here's what it said. By the immutability of his own counsel, paid for by the blood of Jesus, with the Holy Ghost here to enforce it. God says to you today, ask me. Now, there are a lot of folks don't get that. There are a lot of folks ashamed to ask. Ashamed to ask. That's like me paying for you a steak and lobster dinner. And you going in and ordering a salad. You are wasting my money. And this morning, 
We are not about ready to waste one suffering, sealing drop of his blood. Get it. If it's in the book, get it. If it's in the book, get it. Okay, get ready. Get ready. In the next 12 months, Jesus will save, remember your family, including your extended family. We're talking cousins, aunties, uncles, as you and your house shall be saved. He's not giving up his throne for you. what I just saw. I just saw Jesus dancing at the throne and he said, Father, they're finally getting it. From the mountains, Jesus in the oh, Jesus in the dark places over disease oh I just heard God say I will take every pain out of everybody in this room in those campuses watching online here's the command of God Jesus bore all your sicknesses and Carry yep. all yep. your yep. pain. Yep. I dare you to take hold of that covenant and throw sickness out of your body. Cast out pain. Shout Jesus. Shout I want to hear about it. I want to hear. Who had pain? Just leave your body. Get up here. Get up here. You just had pain. Leave your body. Jesus. Shout, shout, Jesus. Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. Talk 
to me. Talk to me. I had uh, just my whole body just hurt. Whole body. The whole body. My arms, my back, my spine, my and leg. Now, and now, nothing. Oh. Nothing. Whole body and now nothing. Absolutely free. You dancing with me. What's going on? Pastor, this dad is here with his daughter today. He's been living in Springfield, coming during the summer, and he is believing for restoration in his marriage. He said, I don't have any pain in my physical body, but I've got pain in my marriage, and I'm believing for it to be healed and for that divorce devil to be cast out of my home. Hey, Jesus for my family. I speak, I speak the holy name. Jesus, Jesus. Okay. That was him. You come over here. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? Graceland. Graceland. Rachel? Graceland. Graceland. Graceland? Graceland. Oh, that's beautiful. Have you ever been to Graceland? You should go to Graceland sometime. That was where Elvis Presley lived. Did you ever hear of Elvis Presley? You did? Well, his house was called Graceland, and your name's Graceland. How did you break your arm? Do you no, know? no, you broke your arm. I fell from the monkey bars. You fell from the porch? The monkey bars. The monkey, the monkey bars. bars. Okay, you're never going to believe this, right? But this is true. I had a cast just like this. How old are you? Nine, I was eight, and I was swinging, and I fell off the swing backwards, and I landed on my arm, and I broke both the bones, and they put a cast on like this, but mine was really ugly, and yours is really pretty. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here today. I'm so glad. Okay, this is Olga. Ivan and Olga. Olga. Yes, sir. Those are, they're not Ukrainian. Be Be Belarus. Yeah. Those are beautiful Belarus names. And they speak a different language. But one Sunday morning, how long ago? One year. One year. One year. One year. He looked just like you. She was a wreck. And they came up here and they said, Pastor, this week our divorce will be final. And I said, Nope. Yeah. Yeah. I want to save a Christian home. Yeah. I want to save this home. All right. We're all going to agree now. You agree with me. Heavenly Father, based upon your immutable counsel, and your predetermination to hear and to answer our prayers. We ask you, we come before the throne of grace to find grace to help in time of need. This family is asking you, do your mighty work 
heal everything that needs to be healed restore everything that needs to be restored let these two fall in love like they never even dreamed was imaginable erase everything in the past no accusation no pointing of the finger no past we start this moment and we move forward in god we ask it in the year when agreement is essential knowing that the father the son and the holy ghost agree with us we receive it from your benevolent hand and together we let the earth and heaven join into our rejoicing that we say amen and you shout from heaven so be it If you believe what was preached today, lift your right hand, say, I believe. I believe. Lift your left hand and say, I receive. I receive. Oh, what a week you're going to have. All right. Head on back to your seat. Head on back to your seat. Now, don't take that. Don't say, Pastor held service. Till I quit at noon. You could have done anything you wanted. And we would not be offended. From the mountains, Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family, I speak the holy name, Jesus. One more time, lift it up. Shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets, Jesus in the dark, over every enemy, Jesus for my friend, I speak the holy name, Jesus. Um, you may be seated this Wednesday, don't forget Jesus Explosion. I may continue the seven Jesus principles of leadership. It, it would be worth your while to be here, seven o'clock. I realized last week that this is the 10 year anniversary of the publishing of the cross, one man, one tree, one Friday, 10 years. Boy, COVID made time go fast and seems like you just, you know, missed out on three or four years this decade. Well, we're going to make it up. And uh, the forward is by Stephen Furtick and the afterward is by the incomparable now gone to heaven, Reinhard Bonnke. And uh, I have been told that it is the most complete work done on the cross of Christ in the last 25 years if you want to know what the cross really meant get a copy and they were 26 dollars when they were released a decade ago but you can take as many copies as you want today for ten dollars get it read it right make it part of the fabric of your life it's in the four years all of them or just one all of them east that way amen i love you i hope you got it this morning i'll send you wednesday night Well, what a wonderful service here yes. at World Harvest Church, the gospel of 
covenant. So many people healed. So many lives changed. People yes. delivered, set free by the power of God today. Yes. And what that word day. Pastor gave was yes. so, so good about so God's good. covenant with us. Amen. If it's in the Bible, take it. Take it. And I think I will. I think I, think I, think I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to see you right back here Wednesday night. 7 p.m. Yes. live for Jesus Explosion. We're going from glory to glory, even us by the Spirit of the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. And if we, if there's any announcements that yeah. you might have forgotten about, uh -huh. you can check through the week also at whc.life. They're all there just for you. Just for you. whc.life. Check it out. Well, have a great week in the Lord and until Wednesday, be blessed. Sowing into the kingdom of God has never been easier or more secure than with smart giving. Any smartphone will work to use your smart giving, open your text messaging app, and send a message to number 45777. In the message of your text, type the amount of your gift, space WHC. If it's your first time giving, you'll receive a secure link to set up your account. Select your home campus, enter your giving method, and where you would like to receive your instant giving receipt. If you already registered, the process is the same. Just send a text message to 45777. Type the amount of your gift, space WHC. You'll receive your receipt immediately. If you prefer, you can also sew online at whc.life or by phone or mail. Just call the number on your screen or send your gift to the address displayed.
in sin and clothed in death, mercy was my plea. And love compelled the heart of God to send grace down to me. Lost in sin, a wretched soul, desperate to be free. Oh, precious one, God's holy son, grace went to Calvary. Ah, grace, ah, grace, powerful grace. Grace that restores and rescues me. Grace, powerful grace. I sing the song of the 